tutorial I want to introduce you to something called blend modes. Now blend modes are found in the opacity setting for an item. So if I got this layer selected and I go to opacity up in my effects controls you'll see that I've got something called blend mode. Sometimes they're called transfer modes and if I click the drop down you'll see there's a whole bunch of different options. Now if I click on any of these it won't make any difference because I have to have something to blend with. In other words, I need a layer below with something else in it that I can blend with. And what I'm going to blend with is I'm going to blend with a piece of black video but with an effect on. So to do that, what I need to do is actually shift the video up a layer. So simply grab hold of it and drag it up to video 2. And then I'm going to go to my project panel and you'll see that I've got black video that I've already created. If you haven't got any, you go to the new items icon and you can create black video. And I'm going to take that black video and drop it on video layer 1. I'm going to pull it all the way out so that it's the same length as the video. Now I'm going to go back to the video layer itself and I've got the blend mode. And when I drop the blend mode down, I've got all kinds of options that I can click on and see if it makes a change. So if I do multiply, well that just gets rid of the video. Uh, what if I do lighten? That doesn't seem to make any difference. Overlay? No. This, I'm not going to see anything very useful with black video, so I'm just going to go back to normal. But if I add an effect to this layer that's colorizing, I can use it to colorize this particular clip. Now, you have to admit this is not a particularly interesting clip, but there's a few things we can do to really spice it up by using the generate effects. So, let's have a quick look at the generating effects and see what we can generate on both the black video and on the boat before we then get on to the blend modes. So I'm going to turn off video 2, so the boat, so we don't see it, so it's just the black video. And I'm going to go to the effects tab down here, and I'm going to look at the generate category, so it's under video effects generate, and I'm actually just going to use the four color gradient. And click and drag and drop it on the black video. Now it overwrites the black video and creates this four color gradient that's going to work and completely static at the moment for the whole length of the project. But I can animate this and change it. So if I want to change any of these colors, so I think the yellow is too bright, I can go in and select it and I can make it a far less bright yellow. And click OK and it's changed. I'm going to take it back to how it was just for the sake of effect at the moment, even though it's not broadcast safe. But I can also animate it. As well as animating a change in color, I can animate a change in position. So, how do I do that? Firstly, change in color. I'm at the beginning of my timeline, my sequence, and I'm just going to animate the one color. I'm going to animate this yellow. Click the stopwatch, and a keyframe is created just here. Then I'm going to go forward a little period of time, and I'm going to click in the color swatch here, and I'm going to go right up to, say, red. And click OK. And then I'm going to go forward a couple more seconds. Note a keyframe was created. And I'm going to go to cyan and click OK. Another keyframe is created. I'm going to go right the way to the end of my timeline. And then I'm going to take this first keyframe here, select it, and go Control C to copy or edit copy. And then I'm going to go Control V to paste. And it pastes it right at the end. You can't quite see it here on my timeline. There it is, just there. OK. So, we've got the four keyframes, but also the end keyframe is now the same as the first keyframe, which means it will loop. So if I pull it through, you'll see that I've animated color. Okay? So I've animated color, but not only can I animate color, notice I can also animate the position or the center of this particular item. So I can go at the beginning and I can click the stopwatch for the center, a new keyframe is created move forward a bit and then play with the center. So I can move the red across a bit, and I can move it down a bit if I want, and I can go forward a bit further, and I can move it across even further if I like, and I can move it, say, up a bit this time, and I can go forward a bit further more, and then change it again a bit more, and a bit more, and then, as I did before, I go to the end of my sequence, the end of my footage, take that first keyframe, select it, copy it, control C, command C on a Mac, and then control V or command V, and it's pasted back to where it was so that it loops. 
and you'll see that that moves around from A to B and all over the place. So we've created an animated background. Okay, and wherever there is a stopwatch, you can animate. If you can't see the animation bit, you've got this thing clicked and you just click to show the animation, you see your keyframes, and you can see that we've got keyframes created, the whole thing's animating as we pull through, and you can do that with all four colors and all four points. So there you go, we've played with those bits, there are other bits and pieces we can play with, plus opacity so we can make it less obvious or more obvious, there's nothing below it to see. And so we've got the boat layer above. If I turn the boat layer back on, though, you can't see what's below. I could, of course, turn the opacity down for the boat layer by reducing it so that I can just see the layer below. But the actual boat layer itself is beginning to get fairly invisible. So there are other things that we can do to make it look a lot better. So I've taken that back up to 100% and we can choose a blend mode. So if you drop the blend mode down, sorry, turn that to 100, had it 88 there, 100%, drop the blend mode drop down and choose say multiply now multiply is quite powerful I can see an awful lot of those layers below let's look at a few more let's try screen screen is going to make it very bright that's not what we want how about overlay overlay again is quite powerful and we can choose other ones we could choose say subtract that's going to give us some odd looks so none of these initially look like they're going to work however if I go back to say multiply and I then take my layer with all the color on and I turn its opacity down so I now turn the opacity down here you can see that it's less and less powerful seen through the boat layer so that it just becomes a hint when I get down to opacity layers of about those 30 percent there so you've just got the hint of the colors underneath there because I've played around with the opacity just going to very briefly go back to the boat layer and go to these blend modes. Blend modes are excellent for blending the pixels of the top layer with the pixels below in a specific way. So this section here are to darken the pixels so they're multiplying together for instance here. These ones add them together so this is a lightening section. All of these will lighten the end result. These overlay the pixels one on top of the other and these are often some of the ones I use most of things like soft light is something I use quite considerably there's quite a powerful effect that looks quite beautiful and you've got some specialist ones to do with color at the bottom here so this is how I could use a four color gradient to add a little bit more interest underneath the footage that I've got because the footage is let's face it just a little bit flat I'm going to talk a little bit more about that in the next tutorial